Today I'll show you the easiest free way of using Elementor to add a logo slider which scrolls automatically like this and if someone clicks on a logo, a new page will open up. So this feature is called an auto scroll carousel and the first step is to make a folder where all of our logos are present like this in either JPEG or PNG format. The next step is to resize these images so they fit properly in a carousel. But before that, adding images, fonts and other customizations can slow down even a new website and then drive away customers. So open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down. We built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it. And your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs. And you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it. So it's a good long term tool to have. So we'll use a free tool called Canva for this. And you can just sign in with your Google account. And you'll come to this dashboard. Now let's go here and type logo and you will see this list. Then just click this logo template right here. So this is our canvas where we're going to resize our logos. Now on the left, there are many options that you can play around with. You have design templates, creative elements, cool text, and many other features. But for now, let's upload our logos by clicking upload, then upload files. Now I'm gonna select my logos and hit upload. Awesome. Now I can resize these logos. So to do that, I will simply drag and drop my logo on the canvas like this. All right, now do you see this grid or border or whatever you want to call it? So just click and hold like this and play around with it until we get it right. Now, if something goes wrong, just click this undo button on the top and then we can see the previous version. All right, now to make sure all of our images are in the same size, just snap them in the middle like this and then resize them edge to edge like this. All right, I think this works for me. I will then do the same thing for the other logo by clicking down here and on the add page, drag my other logo here and then repeat the previous steps. All right, once everything is done, I'm going to go here and click on this share button. Then click download and that's it. All my logos are now resized and downloaded. All right, now let me open these logos and you're going to see that they have these different backgrounds and I don't need them, right? They're not going to look good when we add them to the carousel. So don't worry, we're going to get rid of these backgrounds using a free tool because Canva's free background remover is actually a paid feature. So just go to the description and you'll find this link, click on it, and then you should come to this page. Now click on this upload button and then upload your logo like this. Wow, that was really fast, right? Now let's download it by clicking this download button. Now I'll quickly check what the result is and yeah, this works for me. Now I'll just do the same thing for all the other logos. Now, if I see my logos, these are transparent and they are all the same sizes. Let's come to our WordPress dashboard and click on pages. Now let's select the page where you want to add the carousel. I will use this page for now. And then click edit with Elementor. Now this is what the interface looks like. I will scroll down and here I will place my carousel. So first I'm going to give this a heading and to do that, let's go here, search for heading. There it is. Now just drag and drop the widget. Now I'll quickly edit the heading like this, select the text, then go to style, change the color. There it is. All right. Now to add the carousel, I will go here and look for a container. I will drag and drop the widget here. Then search for another widget called image carousel. Then I'll drag it into the container. Now to upload all my logos in this carousel, I will go here on the left and click this button. Now this popper will appear. So let's go to the upload files and then select files. Then I will select these logos. I will select all of them and click create a new gallery down here. Great. Now our carousel is ready, but it's not perfect because I want this carousel to scroll automatically and improve the overall look as well. So to do that, first let's remove these navigation arrows. So let's go on the left, click on this navigation drop down and select none. 
Now, to increase or decrease the size of the logos, let's go to the image size and let's select the size we want from the drop down menu. So, let me choose this. Now, let's edit the style by switching to the style tab in the sidebar. So, click here, go to the advanced tab. Now, let's also space it out by increasing the margin on top. Let's modify this. Next, this slide to show option allows us to feature the number of logos we want to be visible at all times. Next, I can see slide to scroll, which is basically when the logos are moving from one side to another in one swipe. So I will select one for now. Now, if I go here and click here, then we'll see these options. I can click here, then add the link for a page so that if someone clicks on this image, they will be taken to this page. Copy this URL, then come back and paste the link here. Then click on the additional option. Change the autoplay speed to zero if you wanted to scroll fast like this. For now, I'll put 5000 if you wanted to go slower like this. But you can decide the speed of this scrolling based on how you want it. All right, now let's select the direction of the carousel here. Let me keep it from left to right. I will save these settings by clicking the update button. Awesome. Now let's go back to our site, hit refresh, scroll down, and as you can see, it's working. And if I click on a logo, it opens a new page too. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.